I have a question for you. It's somewhat rhetorical. Is the Seahawks defense good enough to win a Super Bowl? I ask that question because, like you, I have also been getting a little bit tired of ta constantly talking about Russell Wilson. What's Russell Wilson going to do next? Is he happy? What kind of ritualistic sacrifice are you going to have to do to make him get back on the same page with Pete Carroll? But I want to go back to about two and a half weeks ago. All right, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are Super Bowl champions. Why did the Bucs win that Super Bowl? Well, it was Tom Brady. No, it wasn't. You know it. I know it. And I'm a Tom Brady honk. The Bucs won that game because of their defense. And yeah, maybe there was some help from the Kansas City Chiefs and the offensive line that was missing two of its starting tackles. But, I mean, they were all over Patrick Mahomes. And I really wonder what would have happened if those tackles were out there. The week before, they were all over Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers had some injuries on the offensive line. Maybe that's a theme we can get back to in a little bit. But they won that game when they needed to. They made the sacks, five sacks of Aaron Rodgers in that game. Brady had three drives in a row where he threw, the, threw an interception. And when the Bucks' defense made stops against the Saints in the second half, a couple of interceptions late, forcing a bunch of punts, that's how they got to the conference championship. The Bucks' defense is what carried them through the playoffs. It's what helped them hold the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best offenses we've ever seen, without a touchdown. So defense still wins championships, right? Then why the heck have we stopped talking about the Seahawks' defense? And we've total, totally stopped talking about it, haven't we? And I look, I, I get it. The, it's quarterback drama. Uh, we've been a part of it. <laughs> We're going to have a trial tomorrow on Danny and Gallant featuring the Gras as our honorable judge. But we've forgotten about the defense entirely. And I'm glad that Devin White keeps talking. Devin White. Tampa Bay Buccaneers linebacker, top 10 pick just a couple of years ago, who's now, I would say, the best linebacker in the game. And it wasn't too long ago where Devin White said that he knew that this Chiefs offense was going to be cocky in Super Bowl 55. You heard him say that. And you think to yourself, this is a guy that knows that his defense is the backbone of this team. His team is powered by defense. So get back to the Seattle Seahawks. Are they a defense that's currently good enough to win a Super Bowl? They made some strides down the stretch. They finished the season looking a lot better than they had in the first half of the year. But who did they beat? They stopped Jared Goff. Congratulations. Woohoo! Yeah, you beat Jared Goff. In the game that took place at CenturyLink Field, you lost to him twice, and including the last time that you lost to him. We talk about the Russell Wilson experience in that game against the Rams, the pick six that he threw, the sacks that he took, Leonard Floyd ruining shop, Aaron Donald when he was healthy, also being a huge problem up the middle. But, I mean, the Seahawks defense lost to Jared Goff, who was missing the thumb on his throwing hand. So, when you look at that, why are you saying that it's the Seahawks' offense that's the only thing that needs to be changed this offseason? But that's what we have been hearing nonstop. It's all about getting Russ more help. It's about the offense. It's about the offensive line. It's about the offensive coordinator. Changes need to be made everywhere. And I guess the Seahawks are even focusing on the offense. As Dan Graziano of ESPN said, that Seahawks' focus this offseason is not going to be on the pass rush. But my understanding with Seattle this offseason is they're expecting I mean they used a second round pick on a pass rusher last year that really didn't give them anything they got a little bit uh, out of a later round pick so they, they think their guys that they have should develop not that they wouldn't go get edge rush rush help but it doesn't sound to me like that's where their mind is I think they're focused on the offensive side of the ball protection for Russell Wilson and finding guys that fit the offense of new coordinator Shane Waldron who they brought in so I don't I don't get the sense that Seattle's one of the teams that's hot and heavy after J.J. Watt right now. So that was a question that was asked if the Seahawks would go after J.J. Watt, but I mean, they should think about it. They should consider it. Defensive playmakers, you never can have too many of them. And that's why you look at the Bucks, who had a defensive line featuring Shaq Barrett, who had all those sacks just a couple of years ago, that on the other side of things as Jason Pierre-Paul, that at defensive tackle has Indomitian Sue, remember him? 
has Vita Vea, has Devin White, has Levante David. I mean, that's, that's six names that they have on that defense. Also, technically, Antoine Winfield Jr., mainly because of his papa. Also a pretty good name to have, a guy that they brought in as a first-round pick. Like, that defense is loaded with talent. It's a Seahawks defense. Does that have enough talent? And yet, this offseason has become all about the offense. And that's why I've also been annoyed with Russell Wilson. Because I get it. You've been sacked a lot. You didn't really need to throw the offensive line under the bus, did you? But, yeah, you've been sacked a lot. That's true. You can't deny that. But is the offense the only thing that needs to improve? Seems a little selfish, no? You're in a house with a bunch of roommates, and it's as if you're saying, yeah, I deserve better internet than everybody else in the room, in the, in the house. Yeah, everyone else, they can deal with lag, but guess what? All the things that I stream in my room, all of the video games that I might play, whatever, I ain't going to have any of those problems because I deserve more of it than everybody else. Nope, you got to pull that bandwidth out throughout the house. Equality, man. And the defense for the Seahawks, in my opinion, is not good enough to win a championship. It should be in your opinion, too. So that's why it is a bit of a rhetorical question. Is the Seahawks' defense good enough to win a Super Bowl? 710-710 is how you answer that on the Viziard Seltzer text line. You could also tweet me if you so choose. At Gallant says, I love Tom Brady. That Buccaneers team had a great defense. The sixth best defense in the NFL. And, you know, Russell Wilson constantly thinking about his legacy. Well, maybe he should think about the legacy of Tom Brady. Because Tom Brady, when his team has won the Super Bowl, the rankings have been number one, number one, number two, number six, number seven, number eight, and number six. Oh. Oh. Man, defense wins championships. And look, this isn't me taking away from Tom Brady, but he's always had that help. And I feel like Russell Wilson is sort of focusing on the wrong spot here. Don't you kind of think that Russell Wilson may have been having this conversation this offseason, maybe not about the offensive line, but about the defense if they were not to trade for the superstar he asked for, to trade two first-round picks for someone like Jamal Adams? What do you guys think about this?